Hello, Benjamin Tuckett here. Welcome to my channel. So MSI Afterburner 4.646 has been released. First stable update in over two years. So it needs no introduction, but despite its popularity, MSI Afterburner has not received a major stable update in more than two years. The official thread for Afterburner has offered beta builds during that time from 2023 all the way to now, which added important improvements for RTX 50 series cards and Radeon RX 9000 GPUs, even though the latter are not sold under MSI's branding. According to the developer, Unwinder, version 4.6.6 has now reached release candidate status a few days ago, and it was expected to be released as a final edition later this week. However, before video cards made their post, the new software was already released. Apparently, MSI Afterburner 4.6.6 Beta gave out almost seven updates, and seven, which is seven changes as Beta. So, video cards apparently revealed almost eight changes that were introduced as beta with MSI Afterburner 4.6.6. So, the beta cycle has Afterburner introduced GeForce RTX 50 support, experimental compatibility with Ryzen 9000 and Core Ultra 200 CPUs, NVIDIA Smooth Motion Integration, GDDR7 Memory Overclocking up to 36 GBPS on the RTX 5080, unofficial support Radeon RX 9000 GPUs, updates targeting RTX 50 PWM controllers, and confirmation of upcoming RTX 50X0 cards with unlocked extended voltage control. All of those changes are now set to be merged into the stable release, and you can download it with no differences compared to the latest beta aside from updated documentation, context, help, and localization. They're expected to go live on msi.com soon, but you can find them on the Guru3D site. And there is a short video and a short one. However, down below you can see the link to it, as well as the link to FIDE OS version 21 Sunlit Epiphany, which is a Linux operating system. Yes, this FIDE OS, FIDE OS, the a Chromium OS a forked operating system has released version 21 Sunlit Epiphany, and that's pretty good for them. Um, OpenSUSE project has released OpenSUSE Leap 16, and do expect NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 Super graphics card series to be released in, in January to almost June 2026. All those will be down in the description below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.